Hi there, my name is Mike and I'm from Nearly Enough Dice. I'm going to do essentially a little tutorial on building things with docking ports in the vehicle assembly bay. Uh, this is something I actually didn't know how to do and I asked Reddit and Reddit very nicely told me. And so now I'm putting what I learned into video form uh, in the hopes that it will be useful for other people. Now what you see upon the screen in front of you, uh, this is my soon-to-be science lab, my Muna science lab, Athena 1. Uh, it's just lacking a... Um, my the transfer stage is going to sit on the bottom, but as you can see it is built in orbit, it's being constructed in orbit, using docking ports to put all the bits together. So the command module has got uh, a docking port connecting it there. Uh, these two boosters on either side have dual docking ports for stability, because otherwise you might get lots of wobble, so I want, I want it to be nice and straight. And down the bottom, uh, we have a trio of... There's actually a triple adapter and then some, some docking ports. Uh, and that eventually is going to have a, a transfer stage, basically a big you know, fuel tank and engine, to get it from Kerbin orbit to moon orbit. And I had a whale of a time putting those boosters on. Oh my god, it was... Uh, if you wish to see the exciting fun, I'm going to put a link up, uh, which I suspect is going to be uh, a link to my... Uh, you, you would click on my face. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put that... That video maybe a couple of days. Uh, pro in. So, yeah, anyway. The way I did it involved... Um, bringing up not just the boosters but this little tug which has got a claw on one end and docking port on the other and it and as you can see I've got the remains of radial decouplers and so I actually brought up on a, on a craft um, attached with radial decouplers and then the, they kind of exploded off and then the the tug had to go catch. Well, technically, I, I attached the tug and then I exploded them off and then I brought it here and it was a pain in the everything. But I, did, I managed it eventually. But is there a better way, I asked myself. Ideally, what I'd want to be able to do is make a simple launch rocket. Um, and I was going to show you my, my launch rocket. My launch rocket is still wandering about in orbit, but it's clearly too far away to just quickly have a look at it. So I'll go back to the space center. Um, ideally, what I'd be able to do is make a simple orbiter stage with the two boosters attached on either side by docking ports. And then you get up into orbit, you decouple, and either with a, a tug or under their own power if they're clever, you know, they decouple them on drop. Uh, you don't want radial decouplers, because radial decouplers go BANG! And then they go WHOOSH! And then you have to go catch them, or even if you've attached your tug already, your tug is now, you know, you have to zoom off after them and blah 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 blah. It's all really, ir re all really irritating. Uh, so, what I'm going to very quickly do, is I'm just going to, oh actually, no, 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 start with a um, simple this is not going to be I'm not gonna make a real rocket here at this point right this is going to be now pretend there's there's more rocket here okay there's tons more rocket which is going to get the two boosters that I'm going to put on either side um, to take them into orbit so this is this is literally just a thing that's standing in for the actual rocket while I do the construction uh, in fact what I'm going to do so for our test, so this is just a test rig, right? Now I thought I was terribly clever, and possibly I was terribly clever. Is I came up with a subassembly called the double port connector, which is this, right? And what this is is a, just a very simple, um, well, you know, it's two docking ports connected by a couple of girders, right? And the reason that's so incredibly clever is that means if I attach that assembly to my boosters, I know that they will be the exact distance apart as the ones that I've just put on my, my fake rocket here. All right? 
Uh, and so here we go. Here's here's my double booster, right? The the same things there. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just the exact same assembly. Um, having actually gone through the process of, of docking these things, there are some modifications I want to make. Like I would literally put the other boost. I'd, I would replicate those on the other side so it's all balanced. And I'd ch chuck another docking port on here, because apparently you just can't have enough docking ports. Another docking port on here, so that I can dock my tug with it. And then the whole thing becomes a little tiny craft, which I can then move over to where, where I want it, and then stuff like that. But the point is, what I want to do now is attach this to this. And I want to attach it to those, those ports there, and oh, it's not working. Not work. It's not happening. Well, I can attach them radially like that. That's not what I want. Well, I can shove it underneath like that. That's not what I want. Oh, so aggravating. Why does that not work? Oh, but well, turns out it doesn't work because if you, when I click on it and I move it around, you get that green ball, and that green ball is the. It indicates where this thing can attach. Okay. I don't know where it's going there. Um, it all, um, so basically what this means is that this, the fuel tank is the root node of this little assembly. Um, which is an important thing to, to, to keep in mind. Okay. Now, the root node of, of the whole ship well, my, yeah, it's, it's a very fake ship. It's not actually going to do it. It's not actually going to do it. Um, oh, I can't. I want to stick it up on. I want to stick. There we go. The root node of of the, this thing. And again, it's a pretend rocket. Pretend there's a sensible rocket and not just a fuel tank and a you know support. The is this rover base, or the the this drone probe probe base, probodyne hex in this case. Um, if I click on it and it, the whole thing moves, if I click on anything else, that detaches. Right? And root nodes are all very important, that's what this is all about. This is what makes the whole thing work or not work. So what I need to do for my, my dockable booster sub-assembly is I need to make one of these clamps, one, so one of these docking clamps to be the root node of that sub assembly, and that's ignore that. <laughs> Accidentally grabbing a sub assembly, um, and that's what this this root node thing, this this gizmo here, here, here's for. Um, what you do is you click on that, and then. Um, Select a set of two or more parts to attach. Um, let's see if I get this right. So I can, I'm I'm going to choose the top of these these things here, right? And I click it again. I, I may be doing something weird that I'm, I shouldn't be doing, right? So now what I've done is now this is the root node and, and, and so if I click on it the whole assembly moves if you click on anything that's not that part um, that part will just come off All right. now I have to be very careful because um, my because you, you get used to clicking like my immediate thought is I want to now want to detach everything so I can make a new sub-assembly with that root node, and my tendency will be to click on that, the act like this. Okay. But if I click on anything other than than that docking port, the whole thing, that bit will come off, and I'll be very cross with Like if I accidentally click on this, then that comes off, and I'm going to be very cross because I can't put that back now because it's the root node is now here, and it's yeah. So Control Z, I discovered gets rid of that problem, then I hit delete. Um, so this is my new sub-assembly. And so I would drag 
that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I just did. See, I grabbed the fuel tank because that's what look that's what feels like it's going to be the thing. Control Z, and then delete to get rid of the thing I'm holding. I hold on to the docking port, chuck it into sub assemblies, and I give it a lovely name. Um, double booster rooted. And I save. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to see, see if I can do it this way. No, uh, you can't. It, it 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 turns out you can't actually. Um, you can only root things if they are part of the craft. So these things in red are not part of the craft, so I can't do them. So I'm going to see if I can attach this. To here. Um, so if I want to make that. Probably these things actually just start again, but um, so I'm going to try and see if I can't make that the root node. There we go. So that's the root node again. So I can now take that off and in fact delete it. So essentially, we're now back to where we were. Um, you know, here we are. My fake rocket uh, on a support stand. And now I can go grab my dockable booster rooted. All right. And what I want to do is using the W, A, S, D, Q, and E keys, I want to attach it. Uh, uh, I want to turn it so it basically lines up. And then, but dump, right? It goes right where you want it to be. Um, and what's important, and the way things you need to check, you need to check that these two docking ports are in fact separate. They're not the same. You also have to be very careful because if you play with it at all, and if you pull off anything, that's going to happen again. So control Z and then delete. Uh, you know, if I, if I try and grab this docking port, oh, the whole thing's comes off. That's not what I want. Control Z and delete. Um, now, I was very careful to make sure that it was the top port that I attached and not the bottom one. And I'll show you why. Well, I'll try and show you why. This is the, this is the bit I'm not actually not actually uh, made work yet. Um, right, so I'm going to, you know, if I, if I was to do this on, there we go, there we go. So, in, I, I mean, I could have, I could make another double booster and, and, and put the, the root node on the bottom. But I'm just I'm just going to flip my my one. So pretend this is just done the exact same as this one. Only it's the bottom the bottom docking port is the root node, all right? So let's go take this little rig for a spin. Wait for everything to load. Sorry about that. Right, here we go. Um, it appears to be night time. There you go. Um, all right, so there's a bit of adjustment. So this one, the bottom one, is the root node. On this one, the top one is the root node. So I'm going to right-click on this one here. Now, the clampertron docking port, control from here, change name tag. What that means is it's not connected. If I click on the bottom one, remember the bottom one is the root node of this this side, right? I can decouple it and all the other things, but I don't get that menu option with this one. This so this is not being connected. That's connected, and then the whole thing kind of droops, and so this does not count as being connected. On to the end, this one where the top node is, the root node. So again, I can decouple, but the bottom one. Undock. Decouple means, well, it comes to, to docking ports, it seems. Decouple means I was built attached, whereas dock means I was not built attached and I have subsequently connected. So, what has happened is on this side, it's drooped that way, well, that way, and the top one has not become connected, so this is not connected and therefore only one joint. And on the other side, because it's the top, it's kind of flopped down. 
and that is connected. What that means is, well, if I try to take, well, if I try to take off, obviously in this particular thing, nothing will happen because it's not actually a rocket; it's just a test rig. But I can't decouple this one. If I, if I decouple this here. It will fall down and go boom. Whereas on this one, I can I have to decouple both of them, or not. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's pretend that never happened, shall we? Um, I suspect it might be that the, the docking might not be strong enough to hold it up. Um, but as you can see, by decoupling the bottom one, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so if I just decouple the bottom one, uh, you know, it falls down. Now I should be able to. Oh, that's interesting. It's not actually done. I should be able to undock, and it's still it's still stuck on. And then I can, I can decouple. There you go. Yeah, so that seems to be the secret for um, connecting things by docking ports in the vehicle assembly bay. You need to make sure that one of the docking ports on your sub-assembly is a root node. And therefore, if you line everything up properly, they will connect in the, that, that docking port will connect in the vehicle assembly bay. And if you connect everything else correctly uh, they should also dock um, I'm not sure how well this works if you're if you're doing a, a assembly that does that um, but there might be some clever way of doing it but anyway um, for no good reason I'm going to drop that yay everything explodified So there you go. Uh, that should hopefully, I mean, that's information I could have used when I was building my thing. And so hopefully it'll be useful to yourselves. Yeah. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I um, hope it's been useful to you. Um, I have a role playing game themed podcast and blog with my, uh, with my friend Liz at uh, nearlyenoughdice.com, which you're good. Feel free to come visit. And um, I also have uh, a basically daily Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program where I do stupid things. And I'm currently in the middle of trying to build a huge mobile science station to go to the moon, which I'll call Athena, and you may wish to come and join me. And watching that, or you might not. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, until we meet again, whatever you're doing in your life, try to always reach for the stars.